Hey, hey, hey there, folks. Champas here, bringing another audio commentary. And today we have a uh, game between an orc, uh, MJ, and Ted, I believe. Yes, it is between Ted, uh, MJ and Ted. And uh, I'm not sure when this game was played, but it must be quite recently because it's on the most recent patch. But at the same time, Ted did retire, so maybe he's coming back just to play a couple of our fun games, uh, just entertain us, or maybe he's actually back for a bit. I haven't heard anything about that, but certainly. Uh, pro gamers do tend to come back quite often, really, and uh, we immediately see that this game is going to be starting out uh, with a head going for a feed build by the looks of things. And uh, meanwhile, MJ, I'm not sure if that's a Michael Jackson tribute, Michael Jordan tribute, maybe Mary Jane from Spider Man, I don't know, uh, going to be going out for a um, very, very standard build, obviously going for that barracks as well, not going to be doing any one base uh, or um, attacking before you get out that barracks, which you can occasionally see versus undead because you can just th then just rush, go first here and then just rush for the wyvern and uh, that, that is actually a pretty legitimate strategy these days but uh, the problem with it is it's not great on this map in particular and we do indeed, indeed see a blade master coming out for MJ and uh, Ted meanwhile gonna be going for that second ghoul and then probably gonna be going for fiends for that uh, for a little while and then we can see his altar is most of the way up but it will be a bit later than his first fiend so we'll probably use it to either pull this creep or more likely this creep, but certainly yeah, that one it, it means you're a bit more likely to be creep jack, and the creep jack is, can be a bit worse because of these trappers can then trap the fiend, and then you can get in trouble. So uh, we'll have to see what Ted wants to do. We do see MJ is going to be scouting out here. No scout out for Ted, and uh, that's actually quite indicative of its in and of itself to uh, MJ because normally if you see a ghoul scouting you, you know that your opponent's going for ghouls. Whereas if you're um, an undead you only, and you're going for fiends, you only have two ghouls, so you really don't want to be spending one of those scouting. So well, really, uh, MJ can sort of get away without scouting at this early point in the game, but he has scouted just to be safe. You do want to be careful, and it isn't even going to stick around to see the hero, and considering Ted is very, very fond of that lich tower rush, it's a bit surprising, but I guess he doesn't want to lose that fiend necessarily, and actually, or he doesn't want to lose that uh, peon necessarily, and it looks like he's actually heaving the peon around. And uh, meanwhile, that first feed is out, and we, we will be able to see he will just be pulling the ogre, uh, and trying to do a small bit of damage, and then also enabling it to be crept a bit faster once that death knight pops. And meanwhile, the blade master obviously out already and doing this creeping here. Going to be getting a quick, actually, he might not even get a quick level two. We'll have to see if he wants to go harass after this, or if he wants to maybe go down here. That's always a possibility. You can always go here as well and creep out the ogre magi, but then you take a lot of damage. That's really quite a um, difficult thing to get away with sometimes because that means that you do have to be selling up for a long time and it looks like the Blade Master is coming across here, he's already windwalked so I suspect he's actually going to be going for this ogre and he is indeed going for the ogre and now going to take it out, we see he's already sold his TP and actually, ooh, buying a Claws there, interesting choice certainly uh, obviously Claws really fantastic on the Blade Master, buying it early means that it's going to last you for a long time and it looks like he will be able to get away with creeping this out but we'll see he'll take a lot of damage and uh, that is so so frustrating and in the meantime we do have this Trapper now uh, gonna be finished off, and uh, Ted now almost level two. And in the meantime, we do have this Blade Master making a quick getaway. Did pick up a greater involvement potion, which is a great potion to have. And uh, we can see he's now being forced to self up, though he's gonna want to go down here, maybe pick up some boots. He does have his grunt here as well, so I suspect he'll creep out the two berserkers. Uh, but we'll have to actually uh, Ted running around here a bit. He's not gonna be able to creep at this camp, so I wonder if he's going to the shop as well. Looks like he might well be. He does have one skeleton coming down, which we're just gonna scout out this creeping here. And uh, in that case, I think Ted's very, very likely to come down and try and get a creep jack here off on this uh, second berserker. And uh, MJ might be wary of that, having seen that skeleton come in. And the Blade Master now at level two uh, is gonna be uh, careful. We see Ted's actually hit level two from some multitask creeping here. Very, very nice. Ted actually misses the creep skill there. Very unfortunate there for him, but. Uh, Dust does go off there, MJ is being revealed, and looks like the Blade Master is going to get away. Had a bit under 100 health, but obviously the uh, Coil doesn't do 100 damage to a, uh, a Blade Master, or any hero for that matter, uh, when it's level 1, so it's really just not worth uh, wasting that Coil. And so Ted says, decides to turn back, and this is going to try and take down this Grunt as well. In the meantime, actually, the Blade Master has got very fortunate, now uh, hit this Fiend here, and uh, will be able to do a lot of damage here. Ted's going to have to Coil it gonna have to meet up with his uh, death knight and get the aura on it as well and in the meantime we do see that one uh, grunt going down but fiends are much more important than grunts at this point and actually really for at any point in the remainder of this game pretty much and we see uh, Ted now being forced to waste a coil as the Blade Master taking a bit of damage now but does have one more windwalk after that one as well as having a bunch of cells left so he's certainly not in any danger really as two more fiends do come in but the windwalk immediately goes off now it looks like Ted is going to lose that fiend big big problem there for Ted now only being left with two fiends that's really such a big hassle now for him and we see he's probably just about to hit tier 2 
and uh, yeah, so uh, everything goes pretty normally here for Ted Meenal. Uh, we do already have have the uh, stronghold here for MJ, who's now looking to go for the uh, creep jack here himself. Looks like this grunt actually came in a bit too early, and it's going to distract Ted for a bit, but it's going to mean that that uh, creep can't be stolen by an invisible Bay Master. Actually, Bay Master didn't have the mana anyway, so maybe that grunt coming in wasn't the end of the world. And it looks like Ted actually might lose a second feed here. This is just so brutal for him, having so few fiends as he go as he hits tier 2. is just really so annoying, because it means he can't do any of the fun stuff he wants to do. He has to focus basically just on getting out more fiends. And looks like actually Ted going for a bit of a plathing block here with this one, um, with this one fiend, but eventually the Windwalk does hit, and uh, MJ now hits level 3, actually manages to pick up the Tome of Agility, Ted wasn't around to pick up either, so a uh, really, really nice uh, play here by uh, MJ so far, Ted really struggling a bit as he's left uh, with only one fiend by the looks of things, and that is just absolutely brutal, and you know this uh, Ogre Mauler did survive, and uh, it'd be nice if MJ went back and crept that out now. Uh, we'll have to see actually what second hero he wants to go for. He has gone for the Torn Chieftain. Fantastic choice there against the uh, Fiends. And uh, no Spirit Lodge yet, but Bestiary almost done. So it looks like we're going to be seeing a lot of Grunts, especially considering we're seeing uh, Berserker's, uh, Berserker Rage coming up now, as well as a bunch of Fiends, and then just the uh, two heroes of MJ. Meanwhile, Ted quite likely to go for Tier 3, I think, in this situation. Uh, he hasn't started it yet, but his sort of house is on the way. And we'll have to see if that is his uh, tech path of choice, or if he wants to stick it here too and just go for feeds. But I think considering he's lost so many feeds, that's not really a viable choice. You want to go for more of the hero play, try and get out maybe a third hero as well as that orb quite quickly, and then uh, try and just survive for a bit while uh, managing to getting a bit of an advantage in terms of hero levels. And uh, meanwhile, we do see the uh, invisible blade master here just scouting out. Uh, what could have maybe try and steal creep here, but the uh, renegade wizard is very very high in health still, and the uh, blade master was running out of. Uh, cool down on this wind box. We did that eventually you just have to try and steal that small creep and it looks like he's gonna be sitting around here for this next creep skill, but there goes off the dust and uh, MJ now being forced to reveal himself and does go for the steal, but he does manage to get it. It looks like Ted managed to pick up the item, it was a boots of speed. So uh it's not the best item, but he already has the aura and uh, Death Knight uh I guess he can use it probably a bit more than the Lich and be just because the uh, Death Knight's always in the front lines and a bit more likely to be taking damage, but at the same time uh, the Lich is a bit more uh, delicate, so really you have to find a bit of a balance there as to which area you want to give that boots to. You can't just transfer it in, uh, between the two, and Death Knight now hitting level 3 as the Master forced to retreat because he has no mana, and uh, really if you get Frost Nova and then surrounded there, that's really, really brutal, losing a level 3 Blade Master. But in the meantime, we do have this Torrent Chief, and just with the, all the um, units of MJ at home, doing some cre nice creeping here, going to get quite close to level 3 off this camp, as well has got a very nice item here. Uh, these items tend to be very, very good for the... Uh, Torn Chief and things like uh, Pendants and Mana, things like that. Uh, actually, a really brutal Lightning Shield went off there, did a lot of damage here. MJ taking quite a bit of damage, but it looks like actually he will be able to creep that out quite happily. And in the meantime, the Blade Master is now already coming back to do some more harassment and has picked up an Invon Pot as well. So, uh, w actually, I wonder, did he sell that uh, Greater Invon Pot? I'm not sure what happened to that. He must have, which is really surprising there. But it looks like we do have the uh, uh, creeping being done now by Ted. Going to be getting a uh, level 2 on his Lich now as well. So, uh, it's a it's a good start at least too is out here leveling and we do see this tier 3 halfway done. Meanwhile at home for uh, MJ, he, as I say, we're just going to be seeing a uh, tier 2 unit from now on basically. Uh, maybe he'll be interested He'll be interested in picking up some um, Berserkers because they can do good piercing damage if we do see any um, uh, destroyers from Ted. And uh, destroyers are quite likely, especially since we do have this slaughterhouse out. Uh, and this is quite a small map as well so you, are, you can uh, be quite likely, or quite easily pick a fight. Uh, once you've morphed those destroyers, it's quite hard for uh, for MJ to dodge the fight for too long. MJ, incidentally, is taking an expansion now, uh, but Ted pro probably gets get that out pretty quickly because he's just so legendary with his uh, use of the skeletons for scouting uh, purposes. And that uh, Blade Master now doing some nice harassment, getting some creep seals, and then getting out of there as well. Ted now going to be able to finish up these last three creeps in peace. Probably, actually, no, the speech will now being used by MJ. Really, really. Uh, taking a very bold fight here, immediately a call goes off now on this Blade Master who's being forced back, M might be forced to use that Invon pot quite early on in this battle. I was surprised that MJ speed called it into that battle because he couldn't really take a fight there because of the nice positioning of Ted already with the creeps in between MJ and Ted and also all of the skeletons Ted already had. A uh, really interesting choice of a uh, fight attempt there and we can see it didn't really work out there for MJ who did waste his speed scroll but speed scrolls are really really cheap anyway and did prevent the creeping from uh, continuing but at this point now MJ is going to be cautious about trying to creep out these camps himself because he knows that Ted is just around the corner. Frost Armor actually now on this first fiend as well. Uh, really Frost Armor would be, be would be better on this other fiend. Uh, zero zero upgrades for uh, both players I believe. Ted certainly on zero zero 
and uh, zero zero EF yeah, for these uh, units as well. The war mill has been finished, and we do see a Kodo about to be started, just being started now, and that's going to be uh, probably the uh, real turning point for uh, MJ to try and pick a battle. And Mino, we look at this, we have the Dark Ranger being picked up third. As I say, that tri hero combination for the uh, orc, especially, or for the undead, especially against the uh, Torn Chieftain, is so powerful because when that Torn Chieftain goes in for the stomp, you can hit him with a silence half a second before, and then that just really, really screws him up because he's in the most vulnerable position and he hasn't managed to stun your whole army like he's hoped to do. So that, um, this battle might come down to whether uh, or not we see fantastic silences and uh, how well, well Ted spreads his army so that the stomps aren't super, super effective. As we see the Blade Master now moving in to try and take a fight. Actually, it looks like we could be a very strong stomp player. We do see the strong stomp because of that invuln pot being used. The silence can't go off, and so Ted now taking a lot of damage, already having lost to Gorn, and is going to lose a statue as well. We know almost no damage being done to MJ so far. As we see the Kodobi coming out around, going to be able to flank here, maybe even get a fiend. We do see, yeah, one fiend has been consumed. As Blade Master now down to very, very low health, but does manage to be micro away. Oh, oh, but the call might well go off. Yes, it does just in time. And that is going to be the kill there on that Blade Master. So this fight now going a lot better for Ted, having chased away that Blade Master and killed it, and uh, really wasted a lot of MJ's focus, which has allowed uh, uh, Ted to do a lot of damage, Mino having taken quite little really himself. And uh, one of these low raiders is going to go down to that last fiend shot as well. But bear in mind, Ted has, has uh, lost a lot of fiends now, and there are still a lot of grunts nearby. And looks like Ted's not going to be able to do much more damage at this point, and does need to be worried about this one low fiend. Maybe he could try and take it on this Code of Beast before he gets out of here. And he's definitely going to get this grunt. Actually, no, he just loses focus on the grunt there. A bit surprising. Looks like he wants to finish off this expansion, but he has to work. bear in mind that the Torn Chieftain is about, and actually has brought back a Blade Master as well, so really. A tricky position now for Ted, who's put himself in a bad situation, hasn't killed enough units, and now going to be trying to take out this expansion, which is possibly going to happen, but possibly going to be very, very dangerous if uh, MJ can get back just in time. But let's see, he isn't healing up his heroes quite yet, and because of that, I think he is going to be able to take down this expansion, because that healing is so late now for MJ, he can't be moving into position while healing up, and as a result, this expansion is going to go down, so very, very nice here for Ted, who can just TP out, out once he's uh, done here. But as to whether or not he will just make a run for it, I think he's probably going to have to TP because the odds are just going to turn too far against him. The supply lines are just too long here for Ted. And we do see the engagement now coming down. No Blade Master quite yet here. So uh, really, uh, MJ going to have to be careful. It's a Blade Master going to come around the rear. Yes, here he comes now. And uh, going to immediately probably focus down some of the fiends. But we have to do, uh, see how well the stomps can be here for MJ, who does go for a immediate... Um, a speech goal and Invon Pod as well to get rid of that silence and then immediately just stomps. Very, very nice play here by uh, MJ and immediately Ted realizing he's totally outgunned and is forced to TP, but at least he wasted some mana on that uh, Torrent Chieftain. But the Torrent Chieftain did actually get enough kills to get level 4 there. So, uh, really, overall, this is going fantastically for MJ. Despite having lost that expansion, he is now rebuilding it and uh, Ted gonna have to maybe go for Destroyer. Yeah, he is getting the Destroyer upgrade at this point and uh, that's probably his best bet at this point because he just can't get enough fiends out uh, with nothing else or with just statues to uh, do any real damage at this point and it's going to come down to all his heroes and then maybe some uh, nice destroyer micro can get him the win here but otherwise he's really looking to be in a bad situation uh, with his hero levels being a uh, 4-2-1 which is really quite bad compared to what 4-4? What, four, four? Uh, certainly 4 on the um, Torn Chieftain and the uh, Blade Master is also at a pretty decent level, only, only level 3 but pretty close to level 4 now so uh, it's uh, going pretty well here for MJ, as uh, they see Ted actually getting a couple of fiends caught a bit too far back and uh, taking a couple of free hits there. Obviously, uh, there's no point in not doing that when your windwalk is about to run out. You may as well get uh, that huge amount of extra damage to those uh, fiends just so that you can uh, waste a bit of the statue mana at very least. And it's good for these statues to stay in statue form for a bit longer before they can go into destroyers just so that the healing can uh, really be maximized there. As uh, Ted looks like he's going to be taking another fight now. Uh, going to be running this Blade Master to keep an eye on things. And the uh, meanwhile, the rest of the army is coming here from the top. And immediately, Ted realizing he's not in a great situation. Going to be forced to uh, pull back a bit. But he, once that uh, ensnare runs out, he might be in a bit of a better situation now. So we see another speed goal of the Torn Chieftain moving forward. But actually moving too far forward, taking too much damage. And the statue's now doing a lot of damage. They do so much damage to Grunts especially. But looks like most of the focus by Ted has been here on the heroes. And it looks like we do actually have one of these... Uh, Fiends have been frost uh, armored and just doing so much slower here to the entire army. Very, very nice. You know, we have silence now on the Blade Master, so he can't wind walk away. He doesn't even have the mana, actually. For, uh, and the uh, Torrent Chieftain has only got off that one stomp, and it wasn't even fantastic there. So uh, this battle going very, very nicely for Ted. And uh, when there's no heroes around for the Orc, this just becomes such easy pickings. Uh, still not quite enough mana here for a um, Nova, but that's not going to be 
uh, required to uh, get a lot of kills here, as uh, Ted could be very, very happy with that. Uh, he didn't actually move into kill of expansion, it's possible he hasn't even started it out yet, and uh, we do now have a uh, Blue Master now could be moving back up. Uh, very, very low on health, but did pick up an Invon Pop before he had, was forced to get out of here. And uh, we do now have Ted finally coming in. Uh, would have been nicer to see, actually, the expansion now having been cancelled. Uh, it would have been nicer to see him come in a bit earlier just to try and uh, cause a bit more problems for this orc. Uh, just, uh, we do have the, the uh, continued production here. Still no upgrades for the orc either. He's really, really low on food, only 40 food now. And we do now have uh, Ted moving in. Good try and take out a couple burrows. Obviously, uh, to fiends and uh, destroyers, burrows go down so, so quickly. And having the heroes there does help as well, obviously, but not quite as much as magic and piercing damage to burrows. But we do have, uh, looks like uh, MJ could be moving in for another attack quite soon. Uh, passing off the inbound pot to that Torn Chieftain just to avoid the sciences, basically. This Torn Chieftain is such a beast, it bears mentioning 1200 hit points. So, really, very, very nice to be doing that tanking. But I think it might be better a bit on the, uh, uh, on the uh, Blade Master, but a fantastic stomp there by uh, MJ really does a huge amount of uh, stunning and there goes another one there he pops a mana potion as well so he has three stomps left in, in him now very very nice but this torn chief action getting very very low on mana that could be his undo or on health he did, does actually go down now as well very very nice self focus there by Ted as we see now the rest of the army from uh, um, MJ's going to struggle without that stomp but uh, we do have a couple of fiends that are a bit low now so maybe we'll be seeing some nice uh, takedowns here it looks like the Blade Master uh, just being forced back time and time again by the Frost Armor, just meaning he can't attack any of the low fiends, so the um, mana from the Death Knight is somewhat preserved, and there's the GG from uh, MJ as he realizes it's just futile at this point. Without his Torn Chieftain, uh, you just can't do anything in this situation, so very, very nice play there by Ted, really making a strong comeback after sort of a weak opening. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that game, folks. Uh, very, very excited to uh, see how my channel has been growing recently. Actually, almost 4,000 subscribers, and every video seems to be getting like 10,000 views now, which is just insane. So thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll try and bring you some more games in the near future, folks. Thanks.